Well, hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I am doing today, I'm going to be making a switched outlet to control my Halloween prop where I can turn it on and off when I am not using it. Now, of course, the materials you're going to need is a single pull uh, switch like this one and a three grounded outlet like this and you can use whatever type of switch you want an outlet combo it don't matter it only depends on what you want to use you can have this style or you can have this single up and down switch if you want to choose that's up to you now the materials you're going to need you're going to need a power cord like a stranded or solid uh, a couple of wire nuts, like these. Of course, electrical tape, a couple of tools, some dikes, a pair of scissors, a flathead, Phillips, flathead, wire strippers and cuddles your flickering light circuit, and of course, my main thing, my outlet tester, and my outlet as well, for testing it all out. But I'm not going to need that yet, I'll put that off to the side. Now what we got to do first, is the first thing I like to do, is hook up the ground first, because that's one of the safeties here is a uh, warning. Do not try this at home. Electrical is very dangerous. If you do not know what you're doing, please do not do this. Because, again, it can damage and it also can cause a fire. Don't try this at home. Let any professional electrician do this. Okay, now, typically I will take my electrical tape and wrap it around the wire nut not going to do that for right now. Now we got the ground hooked up. Now, one thing we got to do is find the neutral side of the outlet. And make sure you put this on the neutral side. Like this. All I'm doing is just twisting the copper together, making a very good connection. And of course, the wire in it. Now you can also use a uh, solid copper as well for this if you want, that's totally up to you. Now we got those two all connected, right? Sometimes they might be all tangled, but that's okay. Because we're not worried about that right now. We're just worried about the uh, switch going to actual work properly uh, for the uh, circuit will build in here. Sometimes I think it get all jumbled and stuff. Now, we'll take this, wrap it around the screw, like this. Kind of clockwise, by the way. Make sure you get that in there perfectly nice and straight. Take your Phillips or your flathead screwdriver and go to town on screwing it together. Now, it needs to be tight, but not very, very tightly, but it does definitely need to be tight. And the last is the own hot. Now, you can also wrap this with electrical tape. Make you put this in a proper electrical box, a metal one, but not plastic. Do not use plastic. Plastic or not very strong, like metal. Screw this all the way down. Do the like that. This is what you should have. Bring the switched outlet up to you. This is what it should look like. Now, of course, the other thing is tape till. One side, the long side is the neutral, the ground, and also the short side is the height. Now, put that off to the side, put that off to the side. 
bring my test oil over here. Make sure we tested everything out pretty good actually. Plug that into the test oil. Oh, wait. Yeah. Why leave it so? Turn it on. Turn the switch. And there you go. That simple. Making a unique and a switched outlet. We can turn this on and off. Now, if you are going into this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys, well, we'll see you in the next vlog, thank you for tuning in, and thank you for watching, have a nice day, peace.